There's been some observational studies that have shown that people who take vitamin D have a decreased risk of developing type 2 diabetes. So this trial was looking at whether giving a supplement with type 2 diabetes would decrease that risk in people with uh, pre-diabetes. I was not expecting the study findings to be negative. I think there's several things that impacted this and that going back and doing some uh, post hoc analysis, we may see some other outcomes out of this study. No, I don't think the study has given a definitive answer on whether vitamin D prevents type 2 diabetes. One of the drawbacks of this study is that they looked at patients no matter what their vitamin D status was and gave the same amount of vitamin D to those patients versus looking at those who are already deficient with vitamin D and giving supplementation to achieve a certain blood level of vitamin D. The researchers did say that they were going back to look at um, delineating out those who were deficient in vitamin D with very low levels of being less than 12 nanograms per milliliter and whether those patients or those subjects would have a decreased risk in developing type 2 diabetes. They, they said that their study is not powered to make this distinction at this point, but that could be a place of further research. I think that this, this study falls in the pitfalls of a lot of vitamin D studies in that we're looking for a one-to-one -one analysis. We're looking to see that we give a pill for vitamin D and it prevents a certain disease. I think vitamin D is more than that. I think it goes to all over body health rather than a specific one-to-one um, -one affiliation.